All right, race fans, uh, I got a good one for you today. From Investopedia, we have the American Dream now cost $3.4 million. Just let that sink in. This is from uh, December 5th, 2023. And uh, let's go through it. It's, it's just sad. I mean, I know things are expensive. But until you sit down and break out everything you're spending money on, the cost of everything, just to live in this country and the decline of the culture due to external sources and internal sources, it's, it makes you wonder why. Why are we doing this? You work your butt off all those years, hope to have enough money to retire, and you end up not having enough to retire. You can't afford the house you're in. You can't afford the kids to go to school. Then if they go to school, do you want them to go to school because all they teach is crap? And then these kids get out four years later, $100,000 in debt, and they can barely even get a job because corporations now do not care if you have a degree because they want people to show up who can actually do something with their hands and their brain, not college graduate with just a piece of paper that mommy and daddy or themselves spent a lot of money on. And they get out and they want to be CEOs right away. No, you got to work. You got to provide value to the company. Uh, but no, college grads just don't provide that. And they come out with this woke ideology, some of them, and they just become a cancer if they do get hired in a uh, company. Also, Harvard grads on average have this huge debt, right? Most of them. And they get out and their average income with a Harvard degree is $50,000. They will never get out of debt. It's just a scam, a scheme, and that's a whole other video about how bad colleges are in this country. It's a business machine. Instead of the government uh, forgiving student loan debt, which they can't, through, you know, the Supreme Court said they can't do that, uh, why not go after the problem, which is the colleges? It's a business, and they're just bilking people out of so much money. Oh, boy. Anyway, you got me going, baby. You got me going. All right, let's see. The key takeaways, the American dream now costs 3.4 million smackaroos. That's the estimated lifetime cost of common milestones, including marriage. That's another subject. Two children, homes, health care, cars, and education. Uh, insurance is health care, yep. I would say marriage, guys, if you're a man today, given the state of our country, the uh, family law system is all against the man. You're going to lose no matter what. The man loses everything. Why get married? Why invite the state into your relationship? The best relationships I've seen are guys that have a couple women. The men focus on their uh, careers, their uh, wealth, their physical shape, their look. And then they have their pick of the litter. Yeah, to go on and get married with one woman who's probably going to blimp up after having the kids. You won't be uh, physically attracted to her. It's just annoying. And you're going to be stuck and she'll get you know, bored. Or you'll get bored. You'll get divorced and she'll take care of everything you own. I don't know. And some of the most healthy relationships I've seen are each couple, each where they each have their own places. And they're not married. Like the guy, and they live in separate houses and then they get together whenever and then they go on vacations now and then. But they live apart. It's beautiful. What a real, What a life. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I just, I just had a epiphany that that's that's a beautiful life. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, cars are shiny objects. Education, which is a waste of money today. You can learn all this stuff on YouTube. Maybe you can be a doctor or something. Yeah, you might want to go to school where they give you hands-on training how to cut somebody open. But software engineering, business, marketing, all this crap. You can learn it online. Oh, my God. To waste four years in a school being taught by people that can't is ridiculous. None of these professors ever made payroll, never started a business, never uh, invented something special. They just sit in the colleges getting their little government grant money, uh, messing around with the, the co-eds. And it's just it's just so stupid. And then preaching their woke ideology crap. It's just too much, man. Hopefully people are going to get smarter and say, why am I putting my kid through this school and you guys aren't delivering the goods? It's a horrible deal, as is marriage for men. I don't know, man. The average lifetime cost of a home, including a mortgage with a 10% down payment and a 30-year fixed rate uh, at 7.2%, is now about $797,000. <laughs> 
Oh my God. And you know what mortgage means? Look up the definition of mortgage. It derives from a, it's, it's like a, a death contract. You know, you're paying that thing till you die. All right, here's the American dream. Cost 3.4 million smackaroos. Uh, $35,800 average cost of a wedding. And then now what you're finding, Western women are so entitled. They want money. They want the uh, image. They want the likes, the laws. They want the Instagram pics. They really just want the ceremony. And after you're married, it's what else you can give them. And it's ridiculous, guys. I'm telling you, be careful. Not all women are like that, but most are like it in Western American culture. And it's like, well, you can't say that then. All right, if you had a jar full of M&Ms and you knew like 10 were poison, would you still put your hand in or eat some? Come on. All right. All right, we got an average uh, home mortgage of 780, uh, seven, let's say 800K. Uh, let's see. What is this? 271k of just purchasing crap 50 uh 5700 oh my god insurance cost with two babies uh average cost of raising two children is 576k 934 lifetime cost uh average health insurance premium yeah whether you're going through your payroll or something else god don't do cobra man that stuff will break your bank 2000 a month or what Oh my God, average lifetime cost of pet care, 67,000. Oh my God, America, yeah. Uh, 42,000 for the uh, college in-state tuition, uh, room and board and all that BS. Again, colleges are a scam, it's a grift. And uh, yeah, I remember going to school and the freaking cost of books are 80 bucks, 80 bucks for a freaking textbook. It's so stupid and they would change the version each year so you had to get the latest version. The grift was real even 30 years ago or so it's it's ridiculous man they see you coming baby that you got the money they want to take your money and put it in their pocket oh yeah yeah today you don't have to get online learn mentor with someone software dudes get online and learn how to program it's not that hard oh my god and then companies don't care if you have a stupid crappy old paper degree which uh again you were taught by some guy that never even did anything with his life yeah the professors are useless trust me all right, we got 715,000 for, oh my God, to retire. That's the average. And do you still carry a mortgage in the retirement? Holy schmackaroos. All right, average cost of a funeral. Who cares? You're dead, right? Whatever, just put me in a ditch. All right, now we're going through this crap again. The American Dream now costs 3.4. We got it, buddy. We got it. There it is the breakdown hospital birth, raising children, car purchases. You read it yourself. I can't read these numbers. I'm about ready to throw up. Anyway, we knew it was this bad. Uh, they try to propagandize, but America, number one, we're number one. Yeah, we're the best in the world. You know that what we are good at? We are a great corporate war machine nation. Uh, we love war. The banks love funding war. And we love to send our young people to go get blasted away in other countries and other hell holes. For what? Just so they can make money with their war machine. It's so obvious now, having done it and having been part of the uh, industrial war complex, it just, it's eye opening. It's so sickening. Uh, America is almost the baddies now. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's uh, kind of scary thoughts, man. We love war and we love, that's what we're good at. The rest of the stuff, eh, we're shipping everything overseas. It's all gone now, blah, blah, blah. I'm amazed Tesla's here. Uh, I thought they'd be shipping overseas. Well, I guess they are building everything overseas. And I understand why, because the local state governments make it so damn tough for them to do business. That's why Musk and California, you know, gave him the middle finger. I'm out. They just mocked him. It's so stupid. These local government people that are, are uh, um, installed and not elected just are just stupid. Oh, here we go. Funeral cross, by the way. We went through all that stuff. Wedding kids and college tuition. Guys, you don't need to get married, man. You really do not. Oh, you're going to die alone. You're going to die alone anyway. Are you joking me? Give me a break. Oh, my God. Home and care. Home and care. Home and car. I'm Look, I'm getting all these messages in from people as I read this. They're like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, crypto, Jim? You can't be talking that way. Crypto will save us all. Yeah, I think if you're a single dude, do not get married. Save your crypto. Hope it goes to the moon and you can just like get the hell out of the United States and expat to some country that uh, you can live like a king. Now uh, we got retirement, home, and car cars are our biggest waste of money. Um, that whole globalist stuff where they say you will own nothing and be happy. 
Yeah, I can see that. Cars are such a money pit and boats. Boats are a luxury item, but cars, just the taxes, the uh, oil, gas, wear and tear. The tires are a thousand bucks for four tires if you want decent tires. If you get cheap tires, man, you're going to pay for it more anyway. You're going to be swapping out those crappy uh, Bridgestones every every uh, like 10,000 miles. You get good Michelins, you pay a lot more. They're going to last. It's like getting a Toyota versus a Ford. Toyota's going to last. Ford GM going to fall apart in four years. How do I know? I've been through it. I speak from experience. Ford, my truck, Ford truck years ago, F-O-R-D, found on road dead, transmission blue. <laughs> transmission fluid all over the road. It was embarrassing. I donated it to Purple Heart, and uh, I think one of, the, um, one of the guys who received it was able to work on it and get it running, and it was no cost to him. It was charity. But he got rid of it. It took it out of my drive, and I was happy. All right, cost of delivering two children, cost of health insurance, car cost calculated, cost of a lifetime pet care. Well, you can always eat the pet, right, and save some money there. Cost of college, it makes me sick. I don't even want to think about it. Wedding, guys, do not get married. Or don't even, if you say you want to get married, all right, good for you. You want to have kids, all right, whatever. Why have a stupid wedding? Take, you're going to need that money to um, put on a house, buy, buy a house, a down payment. Good luck with that at 8%. And uh, houses are about eight hundred, nine hundred thousand bucks starting in most places. You're never going to be able to do it. Cost of retirement and uh, seventy four medium income is seventy four thousand based on average life expectancy. Past sixty four. Oh my God, funeral. Oh, they corrected. This article has been corrected to state forty two thousand seventy is the cost for one year of tuition in an in state school. Wow, <sighs> including room and board for two children. Oh my God, that makes me sick. Sick. All right. I just wanted to throw this out there. It's bad, man. Our country is out of control. Uh, I know Europe's bad too, but America had this. I think what's bad here, they push this American dream thing. They propagandize you going to growing up, push all this stuff. America, bah, yeah, number one. You know, Ricky Bobby. It's no, man. It's just expensive. Uh, people are going broke and they realize that's why I think now why why can California allow so many homeless people living in LA and around the area because they're broke they can't afford where to live there all the techie dudes came in cranked the rates up and then those poor people couldn't afford their rates more and they live on the street now those techie dudes are all being laid off <laughs> and being sent back to their home countries with because their H1B visas are no longer sponsored or they're moving to Kansas where it's a you know, sort, sort of affordable and now the prices are hopefully come back down, but damage is already done. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave you on one thing George Carlin said, and this this is really, really appropriate for this uh, for this topic. Let me see if I can do this. So stand by. I'm going to make sure I don't screw this up. All right. I'm going to play his video. This is George Carlin, a comic, and I got to hit interact mode. Interact mode is on, and get ready for this. All right. Red, white, and blue dick that's being jammed up their assholes every day. Because the owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream, because you have to be asleep to believe it. But, but say what you want about America, want land, America land, free. land is free. There you go. I had a pause. All right. Yeah. It's America dream. They call it a dream because you got to be asleep to believe it. And on that note, I'm out. What do you guys think? Are you going to have enough money to live? Can you afford your rent? Can you afford your mortgage? You have a mortgage. You live in a neighborhood. Guess what? They're going to crank your insurance. Even though you have a mortgage, guess what? Your mortgage is going to go up. Even though you think you're fixed in at 2.9 or 8%, whatever. Uh, you have, oh, I'm only paying $4 a month. Guess what? If your insurance goes up, your mortgage, monthly mortgage rate goes up. Your pay out of pocket each month goes up. If you live in a neighborhood, you have the HOA Nazis. And these Nazis like to raise and put special assessment fees on you. And in addition to the regular assessment, and then each year they'll creep that up because they're done good for you. Because uh, they couldn't budget initially. And uh, all those infrastructure, when they built a crappy neighborhood cheaply, is falling apart. So then you get special assessment fees. And uh, that's another few thousand bucks out of your pocket. Oh, my God. What else is going to go up? Oh, home repair. Uh, HVAC goes out. Oh, uh, that's expensive. That's seven thousand bucks. What else breaks in these houses? Oh my God! Uh, HVAC, uh, uh, wood rot, all that upkeep on that. Termite crap. Oh my God! Freaking termites. Woo! I hate termites. Uh, storm damage. Depending where you live, you could have snowstorm crush your roof. You know, it's not just hurricane area. It's snow, man. Snow and wind. Uh, up in Maryland, where I used to be, man, you could get some bad things called Horatios. 
And I think that's racist because they called it Horatio. I think, you know, what are they saying there? The weather people, bad, boo. And it was just a windy, it's a huge, powerful storm front. A band of cloud comes through and just blasts everything, you know, with wind and rain. And it's, it's apocalyptic. It's like a baby hurricane, but not spinning. It's just a wall of, of uh, destruction. Pretty cool, actually, but destructive. Destructive. Anyway, there you go. Carlin said it best. It's American Dream. You got to be sleep to believe it. All right, I'm out. Go forth through great things. I don't know. Maybe go live overseas and be a digital nomad. Who knows, man? It's getting bad here.